Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and I am here to do a layout with Close to My Heart products from the Sweet Girl line. Now in the top right hand corner you'll see a picture that I have gotten out of the Creative Expressions, Seasonal Expressions, sorry, May through August of 2019. So this, these papers and stuff are still available. These don't really have um, directions written down or directions that you can download, but I just kind of analyzed it myself to try and come up with what I thought it would be. So I'm going to cut this at um, seven and a half. Now I am going to be using some different papers, and the reason I'm doing that is because a lot of the papers that I had from Sweet Girl I have already used up on um, previous layouts. This one might go up before the last one. So this I cut at seven and a half and this one I'm going to be cutting at four and a half. So I'm gonna lay these down. I'm gonna put them on some white cardstock just because they're not one solid, it's not one solid piece. I went ahead and broke it up like this. So I'm gonna lay them down on cardstock like this. And then also from my previous layouts, I had some zip strips left over. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those down here like this. Now you can tell they're different zip strips than what's in the photograph. And again, it's because I've already used a lot of those papers. So let me turn this off and I'm gonna go ahead and go glue this down and then come right back. Okay, so I have a piece of this Heather cardstock that was also left over. Now you can see mine is way closer to the top than to the bottom, but it's okay. I have this piece of Heather cardstock left over. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim banners in the bottom of this. I maybe should have moved my zip strips down a little bit but I moved them more to the top. If you're gonna follow this, you can move yours more to the bottom if that's what you wanted to. So I'm just gonna cut these into dovetail banners like that. And this is gonna go right here-ish. Now I'm thing it's up higher, which I can also do it up higher if I want. I got this photo of Riley when she was a baby and she was sleeping. I think I might print out a different photo, but I have not yet decided 100%. So I do have this centering ruler, which I'm going to be using to put down my little banner here. Um, now it's going to go about like that. I'm going to use the light side, light side of this gray. Now the alphas we're going to use are pretty much like um, the this color. They're the ones that came originally with the kit. It was part of a cut apart sheet and they are in the dark gray. Here, I was just making sure that was straight. So we need to cut a piece of vellum to go under this. Now I do print my pictures a lot of times I have a photo printer that is a big Canon but I also will sometimes use a selfie so when you do the selfie I had these two four by fours but when I printed it this came out a little bit smaller so I'm gonna have my vellum be this is more like almost two and three quarters by uh, almost four, eh, about four. So I'm gonna do my vellum um, about half an inch wider on other side, on each side. So if it's here, there's one half inch. I think I want it to be about half an inch on each side. So I need to cut it at like almost three and a half, I think almost three and a half by four and a half. Now this is close to my heart vellum. It was on sale when I picked it up 
remember when they had that flash sell for the sugar plum? That's when I picked this stuff up. And then I'm gonna go buy five. I think I might have done the sides wrong. Sure did. They're not half an inch on each side because I was too busy talking. That's okay. We'll make it a quarter inch. So I'm gonna do this four and a half, or yeah, four and a half instead of five. We're gonna do a quarter inch on each side because I was busy going blah, 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 and didn't do it right. It's okay. It happens. So it looks like, uh oh, I bent up my little thing. So it looks like this is down, and then this is up on foam tape. So we can go ahead and do that part. I reckon I'm just gonna stick it down in the center and pull out my centering ruler again. Only I don't want it that far up, do I? Um, that's straight or not it appears to be and then this we're gonna put up on foam tape and stick it down right here so I'm gonna go away and put it on foam tape and stick it down okay so now we are going to put that pink piece at the bottom you can see I already pulled it off the sticker sheet I don't have that much left I will show you when we're done what I have left and we'll see if I can come up with something else that we can do I'm going to put this right about right here, I think. Let's get this ruler rack out. This is a Tim Holtz centering ruler. It's supposed to help you center things. It does not help with um, getting things straight, though. <laughs> Which is <laughs> super what I need. I'm pretty bad at uh, getting things straight. So I'm put this down. That's center-ish, and you know what I did? Let's see where that's at. That's almost at three and a quarter. I did it backwards, I did it the wrong way. So I'm gonna have to flip it. That. and then we're gonna put the title down which is gonna be the same thing It's gonna be that dream and I'm gonna try and make this in line with this point right here and then I'm going to try to make this the, the M in line with this point here right there So I'm gonna go ahead and put this M down. Now I've already popped these up on foam tape. Put it down right there. And there's on this sticker, there's this little stitched line. So I'm putting that just right above that little stitched line. Okay, on this side, I'm gonna put the D down. And then we'll space the other letters evenly throughout here, evenly-ish throughout there. So we have R, E, A. And that looks like, you go about like this. I guess we can pull our centering ruler out and Put the center of the E at the zero. Now I'm just eyeballing it. And then we can put down the E and the A. Now this got a little bent up. I had it in a baggie. Okay, you can see on the embellishments, there's a lot of flowers and heart bits. A lot of those I have already used out of this kit. 
So I did use this stamp. It's called Beautiful You. It's Z3384. This stamp and die set. I didn't use the dies. I just fussy cut. But these are layering ones. But I just stamped this small one with not the layered bits on top of it. Just this. And this one. And then two of the, you know, these two style of leaves. When I stamped them, I did some second generation stamping. So that's what we're going to end up using for embellishments. Because like I said, I don't have a lot left of this kit. And I wanted some of the navy blue. I used sapphire ink. And um, I, I do have some embellishments left. But I do not have any of the flowers, the navy blue flowers. I have already used all of those. Now, I think I'm going to put this big one right here. Now, you can see, you can definitely tell it's a totally different style of flower. You can also tell it looks a little funny because I did not do the layering on it. I just did that on its own. But it's fine. I can stick that right here. Also, I do still have this one piece left, which you can see over at the left-hand side. When they did theirs they had it this way I think no they had it this way and they took a die cut piece and covered this up with some blue flowers but we can stick this right under here I want it to go in a little bit farther than that because I want to at least have the idea that I have that over there you know the um what is this called the fishtails or the dovetails I'm just going to stick a little bit of liquid, liquid adhesive under there to hold down that flower. I'm also going to use the liquid adhesive under here. And uh, which ones go out? The point or the not point? And I'm going to use it right here as well. Now you can see up at the top, there's like this layering bit right here. They do have like a cork or a tan piece. I don't have that, but I do have another one of these large flowers I thought we could stick up here. And then I have several of these small ones that we can um, kind of layer up. Like how they had their, that gray strip covered up with theirs. We can kind of try to cover ours up a little bit. Like by doing this. I mean, what do you think about that? Put a little, another little leaf in there. Right here, maybe. And cover up most of that gray so it looks like those were there. So we can do that. And then they had something right here. It kind of goes up. So let's stick this down and see. I'm going to stick this in here. Now, let me put a little more liquid glue under this because it's kind of popping up a little bit, which a lot of times I do not mind that, but I want it stuck down this time because on this one, I'm going to put a little bit of foam tape underneath of it. So I do have this 3M foam tape. Um, Close to My Heart does have foam tape as well. I have not purchased any of that as of yet so I can't give you um, any kind of review just yet of what I think about their phone tape uh, I do plan to get some probably probably in the month of July I will probably try and try it out so I'll probably put this leaf like that and then I have this leaf Maybe you can go like that. That looks kind of silly, doesn't it? This one. It looks like it's not coming from anywhere. Okay. I don't know if I'm really happy with the leaf situation. Hmm. What do you think about the leaf situation? I don't know if I'm happy with it. This looks a little long. Just cut it off a little bit see if I like that any better. I mean, that's a little better, right? At least a little. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll stick this right here. Now at the hot top, they do have this circle embellishment that everything is housed on. I'm not gonna use that. I am gonna use this big flower piece. And I do have some hearts left over from the sticker sheet that I did pull out. Hearts and flowers, so like, now this on theirs, this was the charcoal gray paper. Um, I do have a little piece of it left, but it wasn't enough to use. <laughs> it wasn't um, 12 inches in length, so I couldn't use it. But they used this paper up here, so you could really see the standout of the bits a little better. But that's okay. I think up here at the top is where I'm going to end up sticking this label. And we'll just like put the date and stuff up here. I think that would work really well. Perhaps this flower might need to come down a little bit. Let's see. So if the label goes here, perhaps I want the flower to come down just a little bit further. And maybe I might want to turn this this way. Like that. Now the bit that's hanging over at the top, hanging over the top, we will um, trim that off. Now you can tell the dotted lines are up at the top, which they should be toward the bottom, but I don't really want the banner going to that side, I don't think. That is going to maybe bother me, so perhaps I do need it going to that side. <laughs> Just because I'm a weird that way. Then maybe I'll stick a heart like right here. And we could put that on some foam tape as well. I think I might have a couple navy blue hearts. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I might. You can check that out. Put this on some foam tape. I do have those friendship bows that I had purchased off of the clearance section. Stay this heart right here. Um, I've been trying to make them work on everything because I love them. I think they are so cute. They're navy blue. Maybe that would go somewhere. Right here. Um, what else did I have pulled out? I think that might be all. Oh no, there's one more heart. I have one more heart pulled out right here. Maybe I'll put it up on this dream right there. That looks kind of cute. Because I put these on foam tape, I do need to put a little piece of this heart on foam tape because it will droop down and we don't want that. Go like this. Yeah, that's cute. So we do have just a couple more of these blue flowers and perhaps I can stick one there. I don't think this bow is going to work even though I want it to. I don't think it's going to. Sorry about that. My doorbell just rang and my dog's going nuts. Um, do you think that's okay? Because they have something going up right here. But they do have it partially under the vellum. So maybe we'll do the same thing. This. Stick a leaf in there. Sorry about that. If you hear my dog. I can hear my dog. Surely you can hear my dog. She's losing her mind. Someone rang the doorbell. It's probably a UPS. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. My husband was losing his mind because the dog was losing her mind. Happen like a war. Who could make the most yelling noise? Oops. So maybe I'll stick something right here. I got a little more space between here than the original one, but perhaps that's where journaling can go. Right? 
we could either do some handwritten journaling or we can type it up on a white daisy cardstock strip and choop, put it right there. Maybe we can put her stats or something on there. You know, her birth weight and stuff like that. So we have that. Um, here's a word phrase that says totally adorable. Nope, that looks going to look right. Being your mama, my wishes, kisses for you, daddy's girl, mama's girl, lullaby, welcome to the world. I kind of like the one that says welcome to the world. It's actually two. They're in gray. So there's to the world and welcome. What do you think of those? How does the original look? It has, oh, they put theirs up on the vellum. Actually, not gonna lie, it looks a lot better. Let's um, move this a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. To the world. Welcome to the world. I don't know, that might be a little too centered. I don't really know if I like that right there. I like it, but I don't think I like it right there. Perhaps I might like it down here just a little bit better. Welcome. Okay, let's see what's in this bag. Oh wait, I have some more pieces. What is in here? These are more pieces I specifically pulled out for this um, page. Another heart, and then there's a gray heart. A gray heart might go right there. This is beautiful, so I do like that. I forgot I had pulled that out. I pulled several bits out before when I was just playing, when I was like um, taking apart the layout with my eyes, thinking, what would you do? I pulled some bits out that I thought I would like to have on there that I thought might work. And this is one of them. This is beautiful. This was supposed to go on a different layout, but it didn't fit very well with it. So beautiful dream. Mm -hmm. Then we can do this one. We'll just stick a little bit of foam adhesive up on the top part of the heart so it pops up a little bit. But then the bottom part we'll use some liquid glue to hold it down. So part of it lifts up but not all of it lifts up. I like doing that. Do you think we should do splatters or do you think we should do finishing touches with like enamel dots or something? I think I still have some silver enamel dots left over from the camping one that we did. I think we I still have some silver ones left over from that. I'm not 100% sure. Now this pink flower I set I put right there, it kind of totally melts into the background. So I think we're gonna make that go away. And instead, maybe we will put this coral one down there. This is a coral one. I don't know if that will work any better. If we can stick the coral one up here. Just stick it right there. Maybe it'll just stick it right there. This pink one just kind of melts right into it. It's not gonna work for me. This coral one also was supposed to go on a previous layout and didn't make it. In fact, I don't think it's really a previous one to you. It's a previous one I did, but I don't think it goes up until Saturday. 
so we'll stick that right here. I think that'll be okay. Okay, so let me trim this off right here because it's a little bit distracting. Okay. Then, let's see, do I have any of the silver ones? Perhaps I don't. I might be a big fat liar. Hold on one second. Okay, I do have some silver gems left over. And I'm gonna just put those down around the page a little bit. I think silver works really well with the charcoal. It works really good. So we'll just stick a couple of these down. I love the tiny ones, they're my favorite. When I first got these gems, I didn't know how well I would like them, but they are fantastic. They came with the camping page kit, that camping page kit that I did for you guys. It came with that and I've used them. This might be the fourth layout I've used them on. So, I mean, they have come a long way. You get to use them on more than just one, right? So they're really cute. I love these tiny ones. I think I'm gonna put one right here by World. And maybe I'll take a bigger one and put right here. Let me see. All right, what do you think of this impromptu layout? I'm not sure if I love this blue right here. I haven't really decided. I might just have. I might have to end up pulling that off. I don't really know what I think about that. Um, oh, I didn't even stick it down. Cool. Yeah, I don't really think I really 100% love that there. Maybe I might like to get the little blue in but tucked under. How about that? I don't know. Tell me what you think, what you would do with this blue one. The leaves are still there. So maybe I did glue it down, but just not well. <laughs> might be okay it's just that might be okay right there because it's um I jabbed it in there further yeah I did have adhesive on the back it just didn't that's okay right there because you don't see as much of it I like that little pop I might need another silver gem right there. okay so tell me what you think about this in prompt to scrap lift of this page and the seasonal expressions I will have the sweet girl collection linked down below if you want to pick it up for yourself it's really cute I do have another little surprise I like this and it didn't take me very long to do it either um, I did buy an extra one of the stamps for June 2019 you can't get this anymore because it is now July. So I am going to do a giveaway for this stamp. It is an anniversary edition. So there's a little cake, some labor labels, some little squiggly lines, happy anniversary, birthday, something that I can't see. The big always and forever congratulations, make a wish, couple hearts, Mr. and Mrs. They're not together, they're separated, so you can do it whatever. Here's a little dashed line like maybe you might do for journaling or something. A little rose for an embellishment. It's your day two sparkle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. There's these little stars that go on top of the stick, which is a candle. And then there's ND for like second, RD for like third, TH for like a fifth and then YRS for years one year well not one years two years three years four years five years so yeah this is a really useful um, really useful stamp set I have one myself as well I haven't used mine yet but if you want to win this um, you have to be in the United States and just leave a comment down below 
and I will pick a winner in a few days. Let me know what you think about this as well. If you want to let me know what you think about this, but you are not interested in this, just say, this is what I think about this layout. I am not interested in the stamp. <laughs> if you don't say that, I'm going to assume you're interested in the stamp. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.